welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on to share with you guys my scrapbook.com haul and I'm super excited. I got some really fun new items and if you guys are interested in any of these products, I will make sure to have the links to each one of the items that I show in the description box below. So please make sure to go check down there. And right now, I think it's still going on. I think one more day. Scrapbook.com is having something called the Sizzling Days of Summer. So they have, I think, seven different brands that are on sale. So it's a great time to hop on over there to grab some of these items. Now, what I took advantage of was the tonic sale. So everything from Tonic Studios is 20% off, which is awesome. So the thing I really, really wanted to get was this Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. I do have the smaller one, but I always struggle with trying to find a good trimmer. So I'm really, really hoping that this one will be great because I do love my little one that I have and I can't even get this all in screen but it is the 12.25 inch trimmer and it's called the maxi guillotine and let me go ahead and open it up here is a picture of it and I like it because it only extends to six inches and then there's an extension arm for 12 by 12 so let's open it up together Alrighty, so this is what it looks like. I'm so excited. So it has this little tray right here where you can put some paper clips or any tiny little doodads. And just like the other one that I have, it does have this guard and it's like spring loaded. That's awesome. But it does keep your fingers out of the harm's way. And the great thing about this also is that it has a storage area back here where the extension arm is as well as the handle. So that way you do not lose these items. So this, so this just slips into this little recessed area. Awesome. And then it has these legs on this side so it keeps it sturdy. That is awesome. And then the handle. And there is the handle. So yay, I cannot wait to start cutting with this. I have had like the regular, you know, the wide 12 inch paper cutters and I mean I know these are self sharpening which is awesome because I'm really tired of replacing blades so I will test this out and come back and let you guys know how this has been working for me because I know um, a lot of people struggle with finding a good trimmer so yay okay for the rest of the items I'm not gonna go in any particular order I'm just grabbing the items so I did get the Tim Holtz Distress Resist Spray. I've seen some really cool techniques with this and I really wanted to try it out. So hopefully I can do that pretty soon. Maybe I'll do a video of me playing around and seeing how this works out. But basically you just spray it onto whatever surface and you let it dry and then you can ink over it and then wherever that spray has dried, it will resist it. So you get some really cool like splatter effects, I believe. So I can't wait to try that. If you guys have seen any of my tutorials, you would have seen me using this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and scrapbook.com actually has a great, great price for it. It's part of the tonic line. It is $2 right now, so it is much cheaper than what I paid for my original bottle, which was about $6. So I went ahead and stocked up and got four of them. For those of you who know me, if I like something, I get 
multiples because I do not like writing out. I also got the Hero Arts embossing powder. This is the Pearl and I always watch Jennifer McGuire use this and I just really wanted to test it out. I do have the embossing powder from Hero Arts in the clear and their embossing powders are super super fine and I really like them. So this is the White Satin Pearl. I believe this was on sale too. I think everything that I got was discounted in some way. And then I did pick up two of these Nubo crystal drops. Well, one's a glitter drop and one's a crystal drop. And I really thought I didn't have these colors, but I got home and realized I already do. So I really need to swatch out my like my markers and my Nubo drops so that this does not happen. But this is the bubblegum blush and this is the crystal drop. So this is um, like the glossy finish. And then this one is called Ruby Slippers. And I just really like this for Valentine's Day and um, Christmas. So at least I will have a backup for the ones that I already have. I did actually get a freebie. So for that day, um, the freebie was this Tonic Studios Blossom Spray. So I'm really excited to try this out. You can't really see the whole image, but you can like inlay these pieces that cut out and it's three and a, it's a little over three and a half inches by almost three and a half inches. So isn't that pretty? And every day I think the freebie was different. So this is the one that I got when I ordered. So thank you. I got a couple of items from Altenew. So first I got this, um, it's called With Sympathy. So it's a really small stamp, but I just really like the rose on here. And you get a really tiny sentiment that says hello. And then this is bundled. You can get them separately. And I will actually have a link to them individually as well as the bundle. So it does cut out the leaf and the flower. So super cute. So I got that. And then I've been wanting this for a while. I do have the peony bouquet as well as the beautiful you. I think that's what it's called. The larger set like this that's layering. This is called Garden Treasure. And I cannot wait to play with this one. I'm still getting used to the layered stamping, which I'm just trying to practice on. Normally, I always use the outline image to try some watercoloring. I'm so really excited. I love this set. And I'm really glad I was able to pick it up. I did pick up the Misty Creative Corners. I've been wanting this because of these rulers in here you get one two three four five corners and it just makes it so that you can stamp off the edge of your paper without um, it moving because you know the point of the misty or any stamp positioning tool is so that you can repeat stamp because I'm not a good stamper at all guys if I try to use a block it's hit or miss most of the time it's a miss but as you can see, so because they're magnetized, you can place them anywhere and they'll stay in that position. So, you know, like large background stamps and things like that, or if you want to just stamp off the edge, these are just great placeholders. Because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but my magnets like always stick together. I have to put them like way off to the side when I'm positioning items. So um, it's not good when they attract each other and they end up breaking. So I cannot wait to try this out. And I want to try this out on my Tim Holtz stamp platform as well and see how that works on that. Okay, the rest of the items, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So the last few items are all of these tonic um, mirror cards. 
and I've been wanting to try this and because they were on sale for a great price I went ahead and picked these colors up these are the ones for right now that I wanted to try I mostly got all the satin finish and I got two of the gloss so um, I'm going to try my best to share this with you guys without either blinding you or getting too much of the overhead um, mirrored look but these are all eight and a half by eleven and you get five sheets in each so this one is the rose platinum and that is what it's like a rose gold you can see the top of my window this one is the imperial blue it is a gorgeous shade of blue. And then the rest of these are all the satin finish. So I think these won't be as reflective as the two gloss ones I just showed you. This one is called Silky Sky. And I just, ever since Christmas when I found that red satin cardstock that I used the heck out of, I've really, really been wanting to try these. So I love this shade of blue. It's like my absolute favorite. And again, this is Silky Sky. And these are all, well, at least the satin ones are 92 pounds. So that's a great weight. I got the Cobalt Velour. How beautiful. I got the black velvet so it's just a satin black pink chiffon beautiful shade of pink that light is just really does that help I don't know if that's going to even show. No. So, like I said, this is the pink chiffon. Beautiful. This is burnished rose. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It is like a very soft pink with some like gold in it. I don't even know how to explain it but it is beautiful. And then lastly, I got the Honey Gold, which I like this shade of gold. It's not too yellow, which I really don't like. So that is my scrapbook.com haul. I will make sure to have all the links to these products in the description box below if you guys are interested in finding any of these products. So also let me know what was your favorite item that you saw in this video or if you own any of these items because these are all new to me except for the glue. Um, let me know what you think about them or any tips and tricks that you guys can offer. I'd love to hear them. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I do have another haul. Um, it's a Hobby Lobby haul that I will be doing here shortly and I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!